So this is going to be the bike check of the new bike. Not the project bike that's coming up. It's all hush hush. Let me flip her around. Boop. So I couldn't get the uh, keychain, so I got that other Odyssey chain. Um, these are, I think these are quick stops. Oh, well, cool stops, yeah. Classic. I was going to put the ghost pads on, but figured I'd want some light ones. And this is a full sealed hub. Even the driver's sealed, which is amazing. Front hub is sealed as well. And I have the dogs coming in now to investigate what the fuck is going on. CNC gyro. It's probably my first one that I've ever had. Oh, and it's sliding away. And my mainstay go-to is a M2 from Odyssey. Nothing like their freaking modulars. As I said in pretty much, like, to other people and, and on this, like, YouTube there, freaking, that's got to be replaced. That's extra weight right there because that's, that's a cast unit. I can guarantee I can weigh, get about two, three more ounces out of this bike by taking that off. Um, unbeknownst to a lot of people, even though these are cheap frames, the one cool factor of this build, it is in the $400 bracket, but it's got a ghetto version of a profile. Micro spline. Um, these 990s are coming off because that's got to go. I have the kink dual, dual lower and obviously the M2 is the top, so nothing to be said about that. Quick release from uh, Sunday just so I can drop them raise the seat because I'm an old guy and I don't like bedded my knees too much. And I picked up another one of the Cult Vans seats. And these are the um, Kink Replaceables. They're, they're pretty good. Kind of noisy though, but they grab. Um, and these are also going to be the Cult Vans tires. AKA shoe grip. They, they feel pretty good. And the weirdest thing about the whole bike that I built was I ordered a Verde 27 just because of the fact that I didn't want to have a 28. I'm out of shape. I don't want a 28, but I don't want a freak 25 because 25s are slow. Other than that, oh yeah, I got these, uh, these new grips from Lizard Skins. Um, and I got to put these in a little bit further. They had the, uh, the end caps on there, but like when I put them on, apparently I pulled too hard and I ripped the, uh, the, the back sections out. So, you know, I, I even had the stoppers inside there. It just basically put too much pressure on it and it ripped it right out. So my, my bike store was nice enough to give me uh, these rubber ones, which is nice because, uh, if you've seen the videos and the pictures of this thing on, on Instagram, um, I park it on the back side of my car, and these rubbers will protect the window. Um, I forgot who made that seat post. You probably know what, whose brand name that is, but other than that, 27-pound monster. That's basically it for today. I'm going to probably pull apart the bike frame. Well, not the bike frame, but the bike rack frame. And uh, paint that piece that I loop over the front tire. And once that's painted, then obviously sticker the shit out of it. Um, but yeah. Waiting on Colt to send me some pegs. I got steelies, but uh, apparently my 
back and my shoulders can't take steel pegs anymore. I should have listened to the bike store. Ah, oh, fuck that shit. I don't need that goddamn pussy ass fucking PVC pegs for the safety of the community's, you know, skate park. But it is what it is. I should have listened. Because, uh, yeah, them PVCs on aluminum, whew, they feel good. I feel like you're laying on a couch. Okay, not that, not that intensely nice, but still, it's a lot nicer than steel. And that's one more viewing of it, and so goes the upload. Oh, yeah, you guys would probably want to, you know, all the young guys like that, that, you know, listen to the, to the cassette noise. Oh, yeah, listen to that cheap cassette. Mm, I think it's a four-paw. I haven't opened it up yet. I had no reason to yet. So, but, and yes, I did leave the logo from a bike shop because I like them guys. <laughs>